So let's go ahead and start with tasks. We get there by selecting the tasks within our Outlook client. And this interface is, is pretty old. It's been around for quite some time and you can see it's pretty basic. We can go in and, and modify and add a bunch of information, start dates, due dates, details, things of that nature. We can add notes to it, completion percentages, things like that. But all in all, I mean, it's fine, but it is a little old from the interface. The Office 365 solution actually offers a more robust solution to manage our tasks. And we have this available to us. Remember, to get our apps, we just click on the little buttons there. And here we have either tasks or to do. And to be honest with you, I've, I'm trying to figure out what what is different between the two because they look pretty much the same to me. But let's go ahead and we're just going to click on whichever one we did here, which I think is to do. All right. So notice here the URL is to do.office.com slash tasks assigned to me, which is what I'm clicked on. We can see different tasks and we can see different things here. Also, what's important. But what's really cool about this uh, function here is that we can click on this today button and we can add things to our day of what exactly we want to do for the day. So it's a real easy, fast way. We see all of our tasks available for us and we can see that. Now we don't have that offered to us within the Outlook. We can of course sort based on due date and things of that nature and make different lists and move things around, um, but much easier within this to-do format. And the task format looks exactly the same. Um, <laughs> notice here it comes up to the same place and it's even showing the same information, right? So I believe that they're pretty much the same product as you see they're both pointing to the same URL, but most of us are still comfortable using one of the two. Also, you can add tasks easily. Now, to-do and tasks are really designed for to do items. It's a great name to do because really it's a, a check sheet. Yes, you can put multiple things within your to do, but it's really a lightweight, check this off, get it done. But what's really nice about it, whereas with Outlook tasks, they don't synchronize very well at all to, um, to your telephone. Now to do actually lets us pull up our phones and look at our tasks there. So let's take a quick peek at that as well. And here you can see we're using a Microsoft product here to connect to our phone. And here you can see the tasks as well. They're just the same. It's kind of nice. It lets you download little backgrounds and things like that, right? So that's kind of neat. And you can look through everything. My day comes up as well. You can also add new tasks as you see fit. Uh, very very easy to use um, here I'll show you something here on more of a personal level so these are tasks that we have right that we're doing as a family um, you can click them off pretty easily uh, when they get done you can see the planned ones you can see them that are specific to individuals right so hunters working on seminary class and his oil changes so you can see it's pretty robust of what it is that you want to do with the product and you can flip between both your personal and your work if if it's allowed of course um, to be able to work on all of this information at once it's just nice having it all at your fingertips so that you can quickly and easily go to your tasks and find your tasks on your system now this one here i happen to have my tasks here listed and this is from Microsoft Planner um, is where these tasks are coming from and we're going to review that in another video but this is basically what the to-do list looks like as well you can see everything that needs to be done this week next week what's assigned what's not assigned it's a great way task management is a great way to keep track of everything that you need to do and stay on task mm -hmm.